start the class meeting good morning students welcome to another session of biotechnology in this class we have to discuss about biotechnology and its application it is another chapter which is present in the unit biotechnology good morning all of you myself sarla working as jl botany at hasan parthi varangal welcome welcome to telangana residential educational institution society okay so in this session we have to discuss about biotechnology and its applications so biotechnology essentially biotechnology biotechnology means with the help of living organisms or cells uh, living cells with the help of living cells we have to produce a desirable product it is either a enzyme or organic acid or vaccine or some other antibiotics so with the help of this biotechnology we have to produce number of desirable products within the short period the large scale at industry level so this biotechnology it is very very essential with industrial scale production of biopharmaceuticals and biologically using genetically modified microbes listen carefully in this biotechnology genetically modified microbes fungi bacteria and some plants as well as animals are used to produce the desirable product <coughs> excuse me so the application of biotechnology includes <coughs> sorry the applications of biotechnology it includes therapeutics diagnostics genetically modified crops for agriculture and processed food bioremediation waste treatment and energy production these are the major applications of biotechnology okay so with the help of this biotechnology including with the help of rdna technology genetically modified organisms are developed and those genetically modified organisms are used to produce the desirable product in the large scale within the short time okay so first let us discuss about biotechnology applications in agriculture okay agrochemical based agriculture organic agriculture and genetically engineered crop based agriculture so when we observe this applications in agriculture agrochemical ag agrochemical based agriculture organic agriculture genetically engineered crop based agriculture around 1960s several countries including india experienced substantial and dramatic increase in agriculture production with the help of green revolution so green revolution means there is a great increase in the agriculture production is called as green revolution okay so norman borlaug who the credit of initiating efforts that led to green revolution the contributions of norman borlaug to increase the agriculture production of economically important crop plants it leads to green revolution throughout the world so that's why norman borlaug is called as father of green revolution next coming to our country india dr m s swaminathan and his team were worked about green revolution and green revolution was possible due to a number of factors both economical and scientific with the help of improved varieties chemical fertilizers and pesticides improved irrigational facilities adoption of better agriculture management strategies and land reforms 
so coming to our country india dr ms swaminathan and his team put great effort about agriculture with the help of improved varieties and irrigation management and with the help of chemical fertilizers and pesticides to improve the crop production so in our india ms swaminathan is called as father of green revolution throughout the world norman borlaug is called as father of green revolution so even though green revolution is successed but food supply is not enough to food not enough to feed the growing human population so when we observe our country india most populated country population is increases very rapidly and there is a great scarcity for food so that's why it needs more, more improved crop varieties and better management practice and with the help of fertilizers and pesticides that agrochemical based agriculture often too expensive and this shows harmful effects on environment this agrochemical fertilizers they have harmful aspects on environment but it increases in the yield with the existing varieties using conventional breeding nothing but old agriculture methods so in the place of this agrochemical based agriculture agro organic agriculture is practiced organic agriculture means instead of chemical fertilizers organic fertilizers like vermi compost and green manure with some cyanobacteria or blue green algal members are directly used as fertilizers to increase the soil fertility once soil fertility is increases automatically crop yielding is also increases then after genetic engineering nothing but rdna technology so with the help of rdna technology some desirable genes are isolated from a plant or microbe which is inserted into a vector nothing but plasmid to made the rdna or chimeric dna which is transferred into a particular host it is either a plant or animal so it is genetically engineered crop based agriculture so with the help of this genetic engineering plants bacteria fungi and animals whose genes have been altered by manipulation are those organisms are called as genetically modified organisms genetically modified plants are useful in many ways nothing but production of high yielding disease resistancy stress resistancy etc plants bacteria fungi and animals whose genes have been altered by manipulation manipulation nothing but insertion of desirable gene into the particular vector then vector along with desirable gene is considered as a rdna and that rdna is transferred into plants bacteria or fungal members and their genes are altered and those are called as genetically modified organism gmo stands for genetically modified organisms genetically modified plants have been useful in many ways so that genetic modification as made crops more tolerant to abiotic stress abiotic means non living factors biotic means living so abiotic stress like cold drought 
salt heat so with the help of genetic engineering abiotic stress tolerant varieties are produced and with the help of genetic engineering reduced reliance on chemical pesticide reliance means dependency so it reduces the dependency on chemical pesticides means pest resistant varieties insect resistant varieties are developed through our dna technology and another aspect is which is help to reduce post harvest losses after harvest some post harvest losses are there with the help of this genetic engineering which is used to reduce the post harvest losses and increase the efficiency of mineral usage by plants this prevents early exhaustion of fertility of soil increased efficiency of mineral usage by plants so with the help of roots plants absorbs the minerals from soil so this with the help of this rdna technology which increases the efficiency of mineral usage by plants to prevent the early exhaustion exhaustion of soil fertility so by the usage of chemical fertilizers those chemical fertilizers pesticides insecticides they having long lasting life span the remedies are the remaining the remnants of those chemicals are stay in the soil for several years they can uh, decreases the soil fertility so that's why with the help of this uh, genetic engineering the efficiency of mineral usage is increases to prevent the early exhaustion of soil fertility and enhances the nutritional value of food enhances means increases the nutritional value of the food example vitamin a enriched rice it is called as a golden rice in general in rice more amount of carbohydrates are present less amount of vitamins are present but with the help of this genetic engineering vitamin a enriched rice varieties are developed in addition to these uses genetically modified plants has been used to create tailor made plants to supply alternative resources to industries in the form of starches fuels and pharmaceuticals so this genetically modified plants are used as a resources to industry in the form of starches fuels and pharmaceutical fuels means biofuel which is obtained from jatropha crutas and pharmaceuticals means some antibiotics and drugs are extracted from plants so that's why with the help of this rdna technology these plants are used as resources to industry and getting some industrial products so it is the bacterial cell which consist plasmid dna extraction and isolation dna is isolated from a particular organism and plasmid is isolated from the bacterial cell cloning and designing the genes and which are again inserted into a particular host it is either a plant or animal and the cells which are separated from that host organism they are allowed to cultivate through tissue culture the main 
purpose of tissue culture is within the short period more number of plants more number of desirable plants are developed through tissue culture okay with the help of tissue culture along with this tissue culture with the help of plant breeding also desirable plants are developed production of pest resistant plants which would decrease as the amount of usage of pesticides listen carefully production of pest resistant plants which could decrease as the amount of pesticide usage bt toxin is produced by a bacterium called bacillus thuringiensis which is one of the type of bacteria from this bacteria bt toxin is isolated bt stands for bt toxin which is a protein which is used to develop number of genetically modified plants bt toxin gene has been cloned from the bacteria bacillus thuringiensis and been expressed in plants to provide resistance to insects without the need for insecticides listen carefully so bt toxin which kills the insects this insects this insect which cause disease to number of plants cotton brinjal tomato corn soya bean so this bt toxin is isolated from this bacillus thuringiensis bacterium and this genes are incorporated into that particular plant to provide resistance to insects without the need of insecticide insecticides are chemicals they can damage the soil fertility so that's why instead of this insecticide this bt toxin genes are incorporated into the plants to create a bio pesticides and bio insecticides to prevent the soil damage the best example is the best examples are bt cotton bt corn b rice tomato potato and soya bean etc so it is the bt cotton new variety of cotton some strains of bacillus thuringiensis which is a bacterium to produce a protein that kills certain insects such as lepidopterans which includes tobacco budworm armyworm and coleopterans beetles and dipterans flies and mosquitoes so this beet bacillus thuringiensis this bacterium the some strains of this bacterium it having the ability to produce bt toxin that bt toxin nothing but a protein which kills certain insects such as lepidopterans coleopterans and dipterans so in this bt cotton bacillus thuringiensis this bacillus thuringiensis bacteria from this bacteria bt genes are isolated bt toxin which is nothing but a protein which exist in a inactive form called as prototoxin but once it is insect ingest that inactive toxin it is converted into active form of toxin due to the alkaline ph of the gut which soluble lies the crystals listen carefully i am not mentioning this point so that's why listen carefully 
BT toxin, which is exist as a inactive inactive form called proto toxin. So that proto toxin, which is once an insect ingest the ingest means take the inactive toxin, it is converted into an active form of toxin due to the alkaline pH of the insect. In the guts of the insect, alkaline pH is present. By the presence of that alkaline pH, inactive prototoxin is converted into active toxin. The activated toxin binds to the surface of mid-gut epithelial cell and create pores that causes cell swelling, lysis and actually it leads to the death of the insect. For example, it is a BT cotton plant. A insect is visited to this cotton plant. Insect starts to chew the leaves of the cotton plant. So it is already a BT cotton variety. So in this plant, BT toxin is present. Once insect chew the leaves of the BT cotton plant, the inactive form of BT toxin that is prototoxin is converted into active form of toxin by the presence of alkaline pH of the guts of the insect. Once toxin is converted into, in, into active form which causes the damage of the epithelial cells of the midgut and form pores and causes cell swelling and lysis finally that insect dies immediately and there is no damage to the cotton plant because it is genetically modified cotton variety that is nothing but BT cotton. And these toxins are Nowadays, this BT toxin genes were isolated from Bacillus thuringiensis and incorporated into several crop plants such as cotton. Along with that cotton is also incorporated into several crops like tomato, BT tomato, BT brinjal, BT corn. Okay. And the choice of genes depends on the crop and the targeted pest or insect as most BT toxins are insect group specific. They shows their action especially on insects not pesticides. Not pest sorry not pest. The toxin is coded by a gene named cry gene. There are number of cry genes are there. The proteins encoded by the genes are cry genes. They are like cry1 AC, cry2 AB. Control the cotton ball worm while that of cry1 AB controls carn borer. Okay. Next coming to pest resistant plants. Several nematode parasites, a wide variety of plants and animals including human beings. Means this nematode parasites, they can cause diseases to the plants and animals, including human beings. A nematode, Melodigene incognitia. This name somewhat difficult. Remember carefully. A nematode, Melodigene incognitia, infects the roots of tobacco plant and causes. A great reduction in yield. Listen carefully. A nematode Melodigene incognitia infects the roots of tobacco plant and causes a great reduction in yield. So prevent this infestation which was based on the process of RNA interference. Listen carefully. That Melodigene incognitia infection is prevents with the help of RNA interference. 
RNA interferons are present in all eukaryotic organisms and they can show uh, cellular defense this rna interferons takes place in all eukaryotic organisms as a method of cellular defense this method involves silencing of a specific mrna functioning due to a complementary double stranded rna molecule that bind to prevent the translation of mrna silencing okay this method involves the silencing of specific mrna because this mrna is synthesized from dna molecule so with the help of this rna interferons this mrna functioning is silencing by the rna interferon molecule which prevents the translation of the mrna to synthesize the particular protein so bt in inactive form spread on crops eaten by insect toxin gets activated by alkaline ph of insect gut swelling of the swelling of guts of insect death of the insect bt genes bt gene is transferred from the bacillus into corn which is a corn plant and this bt genes are transferred into the corn plant and the insect is visits the corn plant european corn borer feed on the corn plant ingest the protein encoded by bt gene and that bt protein penetrates and collapses the cell lining the gut and insect dies bt it which is present in inactive form means prototoxin form and the insect visit to the particular plant it is either corn or cotton or tomato or brinjal eaten by insect so once insect chew the leaves of the plant toxin gets inactivated by alkaline ph of insects gut and that inactivated toxin is converted into active which causes the swelling of the guts of the epithelial cells of insect and it causes the lysis of the cell and finally it leads to the death of the insect next biotechnological applications in medicine so this recombinant dna process or our dna technology along with this before this at this uh, nematode infection along with rna interferons in this step agrobacterium vector which is used in the gene transfer mechanism listen carefully in this pest production of pest resistant plants agrobacterium is used as vector and nematode specific genes were introduced into the host plants with the help of agrobacterium vector introduction of dna was such that it produces both sense and anti sense rnas in the host these two rnas being complementary to each other formed a double stranded rna molecule that initiated the rna interferons and silenced the specific mrna to prevent the translation process this consequence was that the parasite could not survive in a transgenic host by the presence of specific rna interferons so in this manner the transgenic plant therefore got itself protected from the parasites with the help of rna 
इंटरफेरांस नेक्स्ट बायोटेक्नोलॉजिकल एप्लीकेशन इन मेडिसिन द रिकॉम्बिनेट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी हैव मेड इमेंस इंपैक्ट इन द एरिया ऑफ हेल्थ केयर बाय द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ मोर थेरेप्यूटिक ड्रग्स एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड वैक्सीन सो वैक्सीन इट इज नथिंग बट ए किल्ड आर अटेनिएटेड फॉर्म ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म is used as vaccine in this month january from 16th onwards vaccine is distributed for covid 19 that covid 19 which is used if this covid 19 it is a corona virus it causes corona disease so vaccination is started in our country that vaccine consists killed or attenuated form of virus only once that vaccine is entered into our body our body in our body immune system is responded and it can produce the antibodies against that vaccine is it clear vaccine it consists killed or attenuated form of that microorganism once that vaccine is given to a person in that person immune system is immediately responded and it can produce the anti bodies the anti bodies are preserved in our body okay and they can fight against the antigen nothing but foreign particle which is entered inside our body it is either a virus or bacteria or fungal member okay so along with vaccines some other vitamins antibiotics and some chemicals are produced at industry within the short period in the large scale at low cost okay and mass production of safe and more effective therapeutic drugs most effective therapeutic drugs are produced with the help of biotechnology at present about 30 recombinant therapeutics have been approved for human use throughout the world wide in india 12 of these are presently being marketed so this biotechnology it can play a vital role in the medicinal field let us discuss about genetically engineered insulin dear students any idea about insulin what is the function of insulin insulin which is one of the type of hormone which is secreted by our pancreas but in the diabetic patients the functioning of pancreas is slow down and it can't releases the insulin so that's why this insulin is artificially synthesized through the slaughtered cattle and pigs management of adult onset diabetes is possible by taking insulin at regular time intervals and insulin used for diabetes was earlier extracted from pancreas of slaughtered cattle and pigs so in um, old days before um, 30 40 years back or 20 years back the cattle and pigs are killed and their pancreas is used to extract the insulin okay but nowadays with the help of this genetic engineering 
this insulin is synthesized within the laboratory one would have to isolate and use in insulin from other animals like cattle and pigs insulin is isolated from some other animals like cattle and pigs but nowadays with the help of this genetic engineering engineering process insulin is synthesized artificially within the laboratory now imagine of now imagine if bacterium were available that would make human insulin suddenly the whole process becomes so simple you can easily grow a large quantity of the bacteria within the laboratory to make as much insulin as you need with the help of bacterium that is nothing but e coli bacterium so with the help of e coli escherichia coli so this bacterium is allowed to cultivate in the laboratory in the large quantity under sterile conditions or aseptic conditions to produce the insulin as much as required and this in the 1983 eli lilly an american company prepared this artificial insulin in the previous days insulin used for diabetes was earlierly extracted from the pancreas of slaughtered cattle and pigs insulin from an animal source tough caused to some patients to develop allergy and other type of reaction to the foreign protein so that's why with the help of rna technology insulin is synthesized naturally with the help of a bacterium not from animals insulin in general insulin consists two short polypeptide chains chain a and chain b that are linked together by disulfite bridge so in general insulin it consists two polypeptide chains chain a and b those two chains are linked together with the help of disulfide bridges okay insulin is extracted from pancreas in the natural way but in uh, in vivo conditions means within the laboratory with the help of e coli bacterium insulin is artificially synthesized this insulin it consists two chains chain a and chain b that two are linked together by a disulfide bridge in mammals including humans insulin is synthesized as a pro hormone like a pro enzyme and the pro hormone also needed to processed before it becomes a fully mature and functional hormone pro hormone means pro insulin so the, this insulin is synthesized in the form of pro insulin this pro insulin with the help of b cell peptidizers it is converted into insulin okay in insulin first it is synthesized in mammals as well as it includes human beings it is synthesized as a pro hormone pro hormone nothing but pro insulin and with the help of these two chains chain a and chain b it is linked with the help of disulfide bridges with the peptide bonds it is converted into a mature or full insulin maturation of pro insulin into insulin after removal of c peptide 
so by the removal of c peptide pro insulin is converted into insulin which contains an extra stretch called c peptide so this is the c peptide this pro insulin consists of an extra stretch which is called as c peptide this c peptide is not present in the mature insulin and it is removed during the maturation into insulin this c peptide is removed and this pro insulin is converted into insulin the main challenge for the production of insulin using rdna technique was getting insulin assembled into a mature form listen carefully with the help of rdna technology insulin artificially synthesized within the laboratory with the help of e coli bacterium in this e coli bacterium those chain a chain b are inserted and disulfide bridges are formed in between the chain a and chain b and pro insulin is formed from that pro insulin c peptide is removed and that pro insulin is finally converted into insulin but it is a very risky process finally got the matured form of insulin for the usage of so usage for first to human beings okay it is about insulin production so insulin which is one of the type of hormone which is secreted by our pancreas but in some diabetic patients pancreas is unable to synthesize the insulin in those cases they have to take artificial insulin in ancient previous early days insulin is extracted from the pancreas of slaughtered cattle and pigs means the cattle and pigs are killed to extract the insulin from their pancreas but that insulin it can show some side effects like allergy to that particular persons diabetic patients so that's why insulin is produced in laboratory within the short period through rdna technology insulin it consist chain a two polypeptide chains they are chain a and chain b they are linked together through disulfide bridges it is synthesized in a manner like pro hormone nothing but pro insulin after the removal of this c peptide chain pro insulin is converted into insulin this insulin is used to diabetic patients okay dear students take this assignment assignment 1 from the chapter 11 not from 12th chapter this assignment is belongs to chapter 11 that is biotechnology principles process and principles of biotechnology chapter 11 principles and process first question is what are molecular scissors where they are obtained from once again i repeat the question what are molecular scissors where they are obtained from okay next second question what are cloning vectors give an example then third question what is downstream processing fourth question give an account of amplification of gene of interest using pcr give an account of amplification of gene of interest using pcr pcr stands for polymerase chain reaction this polymerase chain reaction with the help of 
ethidium bromide stain and with the help of uv rays the dna multiplication is takes place within the short period okay next question give a brief account of the tools of recombinant dna technology so it is the long answer it is very very important to your ipe exam okay thank you all of you